All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range, you'll be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 179 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, assassin. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of New York, assassin. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves as much as possible. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finish takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. over the top. Oh, strike it back to the midsection. It's blocked. Up, 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 up. 
Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that dude. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this. I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next right, round. Right. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Nice kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And he landed the right hand there. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful lever change. Make him think he's going low as a flat over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice strike. And that one certainly found the target. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Throws the right hand there. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Wow, huge head kick. Right
right hook to the head block. Slicing elbow comes around the corner. That only happens if you can gain proximity. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice body shot there. 20 seconds left. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick lands. Connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's already done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was. First test, not an interesting. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here. In sure the opponent saw it coming so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here too. All right, let's take a look back at the replay it ends up a knockout but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.